Well, Social Security is an extremely valuable source of retirement income. It's payable for your life and it also increases, uh, has a cost of living increase to keep pace with inflation. But I do have some bad news for you for 2016. For the second time in 40 years, you will not be seeing an increase in your Social Security. And to make matters worse, Medicare Part B, the annual premium is going up 50 per over, actually over 50%. Now, who does this hurt the most, Medicare Part B increase? Well, it's going to hurt most the new enrollees coming into Social Security and Medicare or the high income enrollees, new enrollees coming into Social Security and Medicare. Under current law, um, it's understood that your med if you're on Social Security and Medicare already, that your Medicare Part B cannot increase unless your Social Security uh, payments increase. So you won't be seeing too much of a detriment this year, but next year and the following year, you will see. So like I told you before, this is the second time in 40 years this has happened. Now, what do you do? Some folks will be obviously more affected than others. Here are three things you can do to put additional money in your pocket. The first is to evaluate your withdrawals and your taxes. Folks, you have to understand that about 50 to 85% of your Social Security is taxable or could be taxable. And understand that this is voluntary because it's all dependent on how much income and it's all dependent on a lot of where your income is being derived from. So if we can take a look at it, maybe change it around and not affect your standard of living, guess what? You put money in your pocket from less taxes on your Social Security. This can be in the thousands of dollars as well, over, especially over time. So it's, it's good to take a look at it, folks, because taxes, no different than your food bill, your gas bill, or your electric bill, is an expense. And it's less money in your pocket for you to enjoy. Number two is, if you haven't claimed yet, you might want to look at waiting. The difference can be well into your tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars additional in your pocket over time. A husband and wife has 85, over 85 different choices of claiming. If you're single, you don't have that many choices, but you can really play a lot with divorce benefits if you were divorced, if you have if you're divorced and you were married for 10 over 10 years, or maybe you're a widow and you can play with a lot of these different claiming strategies. Folks, the difference in waiting and possible waiting and maybe leveraging Social Security, again, puts tens of even hundreds of thousands of dollars in your pocket. It's important for you to understand that and know the best way to claim. And, f and first of all, with that, don't ever let the Social Security Administration help you with your planning strategy, strategy or claiming strategy when it comes to Social Security. And number three, important, Medicare Part B, like I told you, it has it was going to increase over 50%, okay, Fifth, over 50%. That's huge for some people. On October 17th is what's called open enrollment. You might want to take a look at your Medicare supplement and your Advantage. Take a look at your premiums, what you're paying. A lot of these plans over the last few years with Obamacare have changed drastically. You can never, you cannot sit down on your plan and ignore it uh, just be, for the sake of you don't want to deal with it. Again, you can put extra money in your pocket and at the same time increase your benefits and your Medicare, Medic, uh, Medicare supplement and advantage by changing companies. Our man, Don Kirkendall, which is our Medicare and health insurance guru, is here in the office to ask answer all your questions. Folks, again, planning for Social Security is crucial to a long and prosperous retirement. Retirement doesn't just happen. You have to plan not only before you get there, but you have to plan when you get there because these things happen. So planning your Social Security is not hard. You just have to know where to go and who to ask. And that's Richard Reyes, the financial quarterback with Wealth and Business Planning Group. I will see you next time on Financial QB TV.